Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my April reset video for you guys. Honestly, I love a good reset video. We know this around here at this point. I just think it's such a good way to kind of regroup at the beginning of every month and kind of just do some general planning, some setup, all that kind of stuff. So honestly, I don't have too, too much to show you guys in this specific setup. I feel like I don't have a lot I need to do to prepare for April, but obviously I will be doing the two things that I must do. The first one being showing you guys my April TBR. I have some books that I'm very, very excited to get to this month. And then I am also going to be showing you guys my reading journal setup, which I am quite excited about because I am starting in a new journal, which is this beauty. I'm not sure if I've shown you guys this yet, but I bought this last October, maybe. Obviously it's very fall. I know it's not fall right now, I know it's spring, but I couldn't help myself and I literally don't care, so I will be starting in this journal. It's just so beautiful, oh my god. And I'm also going to be doing a Dutch door in this journal setup, and I haven't done a Dutch door in a while, so I'm excited to add something a little more interesting into my setup this month. So I'm going to get into doing my journal first. Honestly, I have a couple of different sticker sheets that I'm debating between using. I haven't 100% decided which ones I'm going to use yet, but I will show you a couple of options that I have in a moment here, and I will obviously decide eventually. I'm leaning towards kind of a mushroom theme for April. I feel like that fits the vibe really well. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with, but honestly, who knows what I'll be feeling in like 10 minutes. We'll see. So I'm going to get into doing my reading journal in just a moment because first I actually want to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Pear Eyewear. So thank you so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring this video and supporting me and my channel. If you guys don't know what Pear is, they are an eyewear company that makes high quality, affordable, and customizable eyewear. Honestly, I just think this is such a fun concept. But basically how it works is you have a little base pair of glasses. I got mine in the little clear color just because I felt like that would be a really like neutral base. So basically you have your base pair. This is the Ella style, by the way. And then you have these little toppers that like magnetically <laughs> attach to them. And I just think this is so fun because what if one day I want some army green glasses? Bam. Or maybe I want some tortoiseshell glasses. Bam. Or maybe I'm out and about and it's getting a little sunny outside. Bam. And the ordering process is so easy. Basically, all you do is choose your base pair of lenses and they do have a little virtual try-on tool that you can use to help you out as well. And then you just pick the little top frames that you want to go on. You have like the normal ones and then you also have some sunglass options as well. I just love all of the options that it gives you because I've been wearing glasses since I was nine. I do wear contacts now, but I understand the monotony of wearing the same glasses every single day. So having something that's so easy to just like switch out whenever you feel like it is so nice. I also love how affordable these are. I understand how expensive buying glasses can get. So having this as an option is also really nice. And they are also so easy to buy online. You don't even have to leave your house. You can just acquire your new glasses from the comfort of your own home. Another thing that I really like is their pair for a pair program that they have going on. So for every pair of glasses that somebody buys, they will donate a pair of glasses to somebody in need. So if any of that sounds fun or interesting or intriguing in any way, I would highly recommend checking them out. I will have the link to their website down in the pres prescription. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about glass. I will have the link to their website in the description and you can actually use my discount code Katie is reading 15 for 15% 15 off of your first order. So thank you again so, so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring this video and supporting me and my channel and to you guys as well for always supporting me and my channel. Love you guys so much. So with that all being said, it is now time to get into my journaling setup. So let's go.
so I've just finished up my journaling and I really like how it turned out. I just love a good Dutch door. I always feel like it's such a fun element to add into a spread without it really taking that much effort and it makes it look cool. But anyway, we can now move on to my April TBR. I'm very excited about some of the books that I'm hoping to read this month. So let me just get into pulling them off my shelves and then we will chat through them. So I've selected the books off of my shelves. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight that I wanna talk about, seven that are here, one that is a new release that is coming out very early in April that I'm very excited for. But I'll save that one till the end and we will just talk about the ones that I have here. So the first one that I have is Within the Sanctuary of Wings by Marie Brennan. This is the fifth book, fifth and final book in the Lady Trent series. Full transparency, as I'm filming this video, I have not even read the fourth one yet, but I have plans to read that before the end of March, because I am still filming this video in March, hopefully. So I should be able to read this book in April and finish up the series. I've talked about this series quite a bit recently, but if you don't know, this is a series that is following a dragon naturalist, which is somebody that studies dragons. It's kind of historical fantasy vibes. I'm a big fan of it. It's a really fun time. Then we have a little... maybe this is a children's book. I'm not 100% sure exactly what this is, but this is Big Panda and Tiny Dragon. Cass gifted me this a little while ago and it's just so cute. Basically, it's just following this big panda and this tiny dragon. Look at them. They're adorable. Um, around through the seasons, I think. I'm pretty sure this one starts with spring, maybe? So it'll be kind of perfect. Yeah, it does start with spring. Like, look at this little illustration. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think I'm going to be doing a little 24-hour readathon at some point in time during April, so this should be perfect for that. Then I have a book that I talked about in my spring TBR, and that- oh, this is so shiny. <laughs> and that is The City of Stardust by Georgia Summers. This is an adult fantasy book that is supposedly comparable to The Starless Sea, I will be the judge of that. We will definitely have to find out. And I believe you're following our main character whose mother is, I don't know, goes missing maybe and she has to go find her. I'm pretty sure there's a magical underworld type of situation going on in this book. And I'm just very intrigued to see how I think about this book, how it compares to the Starless Sea. Obviously I'm not going to like deduct points from it if it isn't like the Starless Sea, but that's like the primary reason as to why I picked it up. So, yeah, very intrigued. Then I have my Patreon buddy read for April, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna stop saying I'm super excited about everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but that is Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Turs. This is a magical book, I believe, that takes place in a library. It has to do with sisters, I would assume. I've had this book for quite a while. I got it from Book of the Month in last June, I think. So I've been meaning to pick this one up. Somebody suggested it for my Patreon buddy read and I was like, oh, that would be perfect. So I'm so glad that this one won and I'm going to get to dive into this. Anything with a magical library going on is a book that I need to check out basically. Then I have this book, which was very kindly sent to me by Simon Teen a little while ago. And that is Where the Dark Stands Still by A.B. Poronek. I believe this is a Polish inspired young adult fantasy. I recently saw Kat Karras read this book in one of her vlogs and she said the writing was gorgeous and I love a book with some gorgeous writing. So I knew I had to pick this one up. I believe our main character like goes into this magical woods. And while she is there, she is apparently caught by the demon warden of the wood. And they strike a bargain where she has to serve him for one year in exchange for this magical flower that she's trying to find that can save her life basically. And also anything with the magical forest going on is another book that I definitely need to check out. Then I have kind of a chunky book, but it's a book that I've been meaning to read. I think I might've put this on my February TBR. Shockingly enough, I did not read it. <laughs> and that is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the Cosmere. I'm a big fan of Brandon Sanderson's works in general, and this is his very first published novel. So, I've been meaning to pick this one up. Cass read it a while ago, and she really liked it. I think she gave it a five star. So, I'm very intrigued to see what I think of this one. It's just been a little intimidating because it is like 600 pages, but I need to read it eventually. I'd kind of like to catch up with the Cosmere this year, and I feel like I'm very close to doing that. I just need to get through Elantris, an era two of Mistborn. So yeah, very close to doing that. 
just need to read this book. And then for the last physical book that I have with me, we have the Wyverns and Words book club pick for April, which is A Sky Beyond the Storm by Sabah Tahir. This one feels chunky. I don't know why it feels chunkier than the others, but it just does. Anyway, this is the fourth and final book in the Ember in the Ashes quartet. Obviously, we have been doing a little read-along of the series for Wyverns and Words so far this year, so we are almost done with our very first series that we will have read together completely, which is very exciting. And we will be announcing the next series that we're reading together very soon. Maybe we already announced it. I don't even remember, to be honest. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. It'll be somewhere. But I've been really enjoying this series so far, so I'm quite intrigued to see how it is going to conclude. I'm also a little bit scared to see how it's going to conclude, but I think I'm more excited than scared, which is always good. And then the last book that I want to talk about is the new release that is coming out this month, and it comes out on April 2nd, I believe, so very early in the month. And that is The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. Obviously, I've loved literally all of Holly Jackson's other books, so I was so excited when she announced a new book coming out this year. I have no clue what this one is about but it's like a mystery thriller YA situation and it should be really fun. But those are all of the books that I have on my TBR for the month. I'm going to quickly go put these on my TBR shelf and then I will come back for the outro. arrived at the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reset. I know I didn't have a ton of things to do in it, but honestly, I couldn't think of anything else that I wanted to do in this reset. So I feel like I got the basics done, which I'm very happy about. But if you did enjoy, I would love to know down below what are some of the things that you have done to reset for April. I would love to know maybe what your reading journal theme is, or maybe some books that are on your TBR. That could be really fun. Please chat about that stuff in the comments with me. <laughs> also, before I go, I did again want to thank Pear Eyewear so much for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check them out, I will have a link to their website in the description. And don't forget, you can use the code KATIEISREADING15 for 15% off your first order. And lastly, I did want to thank everybody over on my Patreon. Love you guys so much. If you are ever looking for more content from me, I do always have that link down below in the description. We always do a monthly buddy read, and as I said earlier in this video, we are reading Inkblood Sister Scribe, which I am super excited about, and I will have a little spoiler-filled reading log for that on my Patreon at the end of the month. But with all that being said, I am now actually going to let you go. So again, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next one. <laughs>